Chick-fil-A company whose Christian owners are known to donate to anti-gay groups. Use Starship's 1986 classic, Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now, as a background song for their ad. Singer Grace Slick said that Chick-fil-A pisses her off. She let the company use her music, knowing she was going to give all the money made from that deal directly to a group fighting for LGBTQ rights. So for anyone who doesn't understand, uh, this is more U.S. news. Chick-fil-A is a fast food restaurant. The owners of Chick-fil-A have been notorious for supporting bills that uh, limit transgender rights, um, and they donate a lot of their stuff to right, you know, right Christian conservative to anti-LGBT activism. Yes, and their CEO also one time said that it's, uh, he supports stoning gay people because it's according to the Bible. I think. Right. Was that no? Was that Chick-fil-A or was that no? 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 That was. What's the charity organization? No, the 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 CEO of Chick Fil A does absolutely agree with gay conversion therapy. That's camps. But who was the CEO that said it's okay to stone gay people? I think that was the what's what's that charity with the with, with the bell, doing? Uh, oh, Salvation Army. Salvation Army. I don't know if it was the CEO of Salvation Army that said that or the CEO of Chick Fil A. But anyways, well, the, the CEO of Salvation Army is insane. And yeah. That that actually sounds calm uh, yeah. <laughs> compared to things they've said in the past. Okay. So, okay, so, so the money is going to go, is it, are they, what, wait, what, what do you think? If I, if I ever say, see a Chick-fil-A, like, should I, if I go there and eat, am I a horrible person for eating there? Because, they're, because their money is being used for anti-LGBT? Like, okay. what do you think? So here's, here's my stance on this. And then, and we actually discuss this a lot um, in LGBT uh, circles. I personally would never support Chick-fil-A. Right. I'm not going to ever spend any money there. I'm not going to do it. That's my choice. Okay. Because I don't want to give them my money so that they can send that money towards, you know, going against my rights. I think that's stupid. Um, can my friends, my family, people I love go to Chick-fil-A and eat? Absolutely. Everyone should be allowed. To okay. Do Ali, that but that doesn't choice. mean anything. I know everybody should be allowed to. But the question is that is it the right thing to do? That's a different question. Sure. If if it look if it makes you happy, do it. If their food makes you happy, do it. Uh, it's of course it's the right thing to do. This yeah. look this is your one life. Okay? This is the one life we get. One person going to Chick-fil-A because they enjoy food and want to have a happy moment. That is that is neither here nor there during this spectrum of your I, one life. I don't know. Um, okay, let, let us know what you think in the live chat uh, or in the comments. Do you think that um, me knowing, I haven't by the way, yeah, uh, knowing what the money, Chick-fil-A uses some of its money towards anti-LGBT activism is going there and eating there unethical. Like, you know what I mean? Like, should 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 people, and not only on ethical, should people be called out for supporting such an organization? Uh, let me see. So, okay, but this is actually funny what this person is doing because now Chick-fil-A, by using this music, they're, they're supporting LGBT rights because right. uh, by, by using the music. Do you think they're going to stop using the music? Oh, absolutely. I think, <laughs> I think that we can probably do an update on this in a few weeks where Chick-fil-A is pulled. Um pulled this contract to stop using this song. Erica is saying absolutely absolutely love the irony in this. Uh, not really. Mary is saying not really newsworthy. Well, that's your opinion. It seems like a lot of people enjoyed it. Um, Muscal is saying, I really don't want misinformation to spread. Okay, that's like about the previous news, I think. Um, Wolf is saying, I bet they lost a lot of good business. The gays eat out a lot. Okay, um, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, but I want to see if anybody has any comments. I guess we're gonna have to wait. Uh, I, I don't think that my opinion on this is popular. I no. think that a lot of people will say, Of course, you shouldn't eat there. You're a terrible person if you eat there. You're supporting them if you eat there. Mm -hmm. But, um, at the same time, like, I, I don't know. I just I don't think one meal is, is going to do more damage than you know, everyday activism. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. 
But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.